Okay, okay, so I know what you're thinking. Practicing is already no fun as it is. Turning it into some schedule routine or regimen is even less fun. And you know what? You'd be right. Practice routines and practice schedules, they're no fun but they are what you make them. So in today's video, we're gonna look at ways to make practice fun and make a practice schedule just as engaging and enjoyable as just jamming on your instrument. So first things first, we're only gonna practice the things you want to get better at. Who cares if you suck at sight reading if you're never gonna find yourself in a situation where you need to use that skill. So work on the things that you want to do and that'll bring you back to playing your guitar every single day. And honestly, at the end of the day, that's the most important thing, that you just pick up your guitar and spend some time with it every single day. Now, when deciding what to practice, that forces someone like me to step back and look at the bigger picture. What aspects of my playing do I want to get better at? Now, personally, I've been on a big technique kick lately, but for you, this could be getting better at technique or maybe having better timing, more versatility as a rhythm guitarist, new chords, slide guitar, finger style guitar, new repertoire. Either way, think of what those bigger, larger categories might be and go ahead and write that down. So the next thing we have to do is narrow those large generic categories down. Look at it and ask yourself, how are you gonna get better at that? So for instance, if I wanna have better technique, I might write down uh, right hand picking speed or left hand legatos like hammer-ons, pull-offs, or coordination between my two hands as ways to achieve better technique. Then I'll do the same thing for all my other categories, whether it's rhythm guitar, slide guitar, whatever you wrote down in our first step. So the last thing I'll do is write out specific songs, exercises, riffs, or licks that use the techniques we wanna get better at to help us achieve the goals we wrote down in our first step. My goal is to have better technique. And a way I might do that would be to have better coordination between the left hand and the right hand. And the specific exercise that I'm gonna to use to achieve that might be that four-fingered spider exercise. However, I'm not really an exercise kind of guy. I don't know about you, but I never picked up the guitar with the dream to master that four-fingered spider exercise or C major drill number three. Yes! So if I can find a song or a riff or a lick from my favorite guitar solo that has the same stuff in it, I'd rather work on a piece of real music than an exercise that's doing its best to emulate something you might find in real music. So for example, in the case of that spider exercise that I've mentioned a couple times, I would much rather work on this riff than that exercise. And honestly, they're basically the same thing. I'm gonna get the same techniques worked on, whether I'm working on the exercise or that riff, I'm just gonna enjoy one more because it's freaking Jimi Hendrix. So in the case of picking speed or control, instead of just sitting there with a metronome and strumming along at 160 beats a minute, I would much rather just play through this song or this song because in those examples of real, actual music, the thing that's doing all the work is the right hand. Just playing that song once a day is just as good as doing a right hand warm up exercise once a day. For coordination, I might pick a song like this. Because that one requires a good amount of coordination to be able to play it, and you get much more enjoyment out of playing that than an exercise. From there, just rinse and repeat until every single category that you wrote out at the beginning and through our second step is full of songs, exercises, riffs, or licks. Now, I will say, sometimes you can't find a song that nails that specific technique that you're doing. So, you know, I'll incorporate an exercise here and there. But for the most part, I try to work with repertoire. 
Okay, so one last thing before we wrap up, and this one's really important. I try to find more examples of songs or exercises than I could actually do in a single day. That way it keeps things fresh for me for a longer period of time. I might pick one song from that category to do one day and move on to the next, and then the next day pick a different song or exercise from that category. If every song or exercise in that category works out the same aspect of your playing, then it doesn't really matter which one you do each day. Whether it's an exercise designed to help you with that technique or a song written using almost exclusively that technique, you still get experience doing it every single day. And as we said earlier, that's the important thing. What this does is keeps things more interesting to you on a day-to-day -day basis. So you could run the same practice routine for months without getting bored of it. And the great thing is if later on I find another song or exercise that fits within another category, then I just add that into the rotation and it keeps things even fresher. This repertoire style approach to practice keeps me engaged and makes me want to practice every single day. And the variety keeps me engaged from being bored of the same repertoire every single day. Because of the way I have things set up, this allows me to add new songs into my routine and retire old songs while still having the same practice schedule and working on the same techniques on a day-to-day, month-to-month basis. Now with all that being said, I'm not knocking doing exercises, I just prefer to have most of it be real world musical examples. I mean, why play an exercise when you have the option to do the exact same thing while playing a Jimi Hendrix song? Well, I hope that helps you guys out, helps you get better at the guitar, and helps you from being burned out. Let me know down in the comments below what songs you'll be working on to get better at your guitar playing. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. That's all for now. I'm Mike Hilbin. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.